What's going on? Travis here with trainaggressive.com, travisstetzel.com, and paleoripped.com. And I just wanted to uh, kind of let you into my world here a little bit and uh, show you one of my most favorite breakfasts to make, and that is stuffed peppers with eggs, scrambled eggs. All right, so eggs are one of my favorite foods to eat, especially for breakfast. So I'm just going to kind of take you through uh, how I do this, and it doesn't really take that much time at all, maybe about 15, 20 minutes, and you are rocking. You got yourself a kick-ass breakfast, lean and mean style, paleo style, all right? So let's go over the uh, ingredients of everything first. Obviously, we're going to start off with some organic eggs. You want to go organic, cage-free, which is going to be a lot healthier for you than the normal eggs that you buy because it's coming from a really healthy source cage free uh, chickens really uh, healthy and organic all right from there what I'm going to use for my pan so I got some organic virgin coconut oil unrefined okay you don't want to get refined that means that it's been processed you want to go unrefined that's the best you can get as far as coconut oil is concerned some awesome stuff, great vitamins and minerals for you, lots of uh, good stuff for you, alright? Next, obviously we got the pepper, alright? I've already cut it in half, all you need to do from there is hollow it that out, alright? So just cut the middle out, so you got a nice hollow uh, half pepper, that way you can stuff anything, pretty much anything you want in there, um, inside the pepper, alright? Next we got some kick-ass salsa that I found. Gosh, this stuff is good. I go through a whole jar of that stuff like within a week, easy. Okay, next we got some mushrooms. We got organic spinach. All right, it's really key, especially when you're going with vegetables, really focusing on going organic with these because a lot of the toxins and like pesticides and stuff like that, they soak into the leaves usually. All right, so um, definitely a spinach, uh, go organic when you can. I got some salt-free seasoning, and I got tons of different flavors of salt-free seasoning. So if you're looking to spice up any type of meal or dish, get some Mrs. Dash salt-free. I got some Southwest Chipotle. That stuff is awesome. I got some fresh, uh, already made guacamole. Okay, I can't remember what the brand is, but it's some kick-ass stuff. Just look at the ingredients um, if you're going to buy fresh uh, guacamole like that. Because um, sometimes they can sneak some extra stuff in on, on you. That All that has is peppers, onions, and um, avocados. So it's all fresh stuff. Then I have some leftover grass-fed uh, beef steak. Okay, I just chopped up half of it. I'm going to throw that into my eggs too to add to this uh, meal. So... Those are the ingredients. Now what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to take the coconut oil. And uh, usually this is solid at room temperature. But basically I heated it up. I just put it under the faucet with hot water. You just let it run for you know two minutes or so. And it melts. And then you just dump about one or two tablespoons into the pan. Spread it out with your finger. Or you can take like a paper towel or something like that and just spread it out. So it covers your pan, so it's non-stick pan. All right. Then, like I said, I'm going to hollow out the peppers. Okay. And then we're just going to make a big scramble here. So I'll, once I uh, oil up the pan, I'm just going to throw in my eggs. I usually do about five eggs, whole eggs. I eat the yolk too. It's not bad to eat the yolk, um, the cholesterol that you're getting. Again, you're coming from a good, healthy source, cage-free eggs. So you're all right with that. Now I'll let the eggs cook a little bit until they start turning a little bit white. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw on my spinach. I'll chop up my mushrooms. I'll throw those on top. I'll throw in the steak. I'll let that stuff cook. I'll uh, scramble it up. And then when, we're, when we get to that point, I'll go ahead and come back. So just uh, I'm going to cut off here for a second. We'll be back right in a second once these eggs are about done. All right, we're back. The eggs are cooking. I put the ingredients on top so you can check that out. Got the chopped mushrooms. Steak is on there. 
as you can see the eggs are starting to cook underneath and uh, basically when it just cooks a little bit more I'll just start scrambling that up okay a lot of people have questions on what to do with the spinach they're like how the heck you put spinach in there there's a couple different ways that you can do it um, you can grind it up real fine and throw it in there but I just do that it welts up a little bit so it's nice and easy you just scramble it all up good to go but just wanted to talk about these peppers real quick one of the things that I love about stuffed peppers is for me I used to be a huge bread eater okay I used to I had to have like toast or bread with my breakfast no matter what and I couldn't get myself off of it and ever since uh, trying these stuffed peppers it just gives me that crunch and then what I always like to do with bread is like obviously put stuff on top of the bread so you have kind of like a half sandwich or like make a sandwich and what I've done with the stuffed peppers obviously you can put whatever you want inside the stuffed peppers and it gives you that little crunch and it kind of it just replaces that bread so you cut out that crap that you're eating before with the bread from all the processed sugars and different shit like that and replace it with something a lot more nutritious with the peppers obviously with the eggs the steak, mushrooms, spinach, all that good stuff. Obviously, you can throw in whatever you want. You can put in chicken, um, you put in kale, whatever you want to put in there. You can just scramble it up, all right? So, all right, I'm going to cut out here real, uh, real quick. I'm going to scramble up the eggs, and we're all done. I'm going to show you the uh, end product here, and uh, I'm going to chow down on this stuff. So just uh, be back in one second. All right, all right. So we scrambled up our eggs. Boom. That's about five eggs right there. So some people, that's a lot of food. For me, that's only going to keep me full for one to two hours tops. All right. So pretty easy from here. Now we just chow down, take the salt-free seasoning. Boom, sprinkle on top. Take the uh, guacamole, put a little bit on the side. And then once I stuff my peppers, I can just put the guacamole on top. And then I take my salsa, top on the uh, eggs, put a little bit on top of the uh, stuffed peppers, and we chow down like it's none of our business. This is a great breakfast right here. Didn't take me very long to prepare. It took about 15, 20 minutes. It's going to take me about five minutes to chow this down, but this is one of my favorite paleo meals. And uh, I got this idea actually from the Paleo Recipe book. So um, if you're somebody that's trying to eat Paleo and you need a ton of uh, different ideas, go ahead and check out the Paleo Recipe book. Just click the link uh, below, leanandmeanpaleo.com. And uh, there's over 370 different kick-ass Paleo recipes in there. So check it out. I'm about to chow down. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out. Hope you try this uh, recipe. If you do, uh, make sure to hit up my Facebook fan page and tell me how you like it. So keep living aggressive, getting strong. Travis Stutzel, I'm out.